Okay, hello everybody. Today I am finally playing Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Um, of course this is the PS4 version. Um, not really that much differences in the versions. Although I did hear that the, um, sp the Switch version is kind of meh. So this game came out last year and I was gonna play it last year but um, I didn't end up doing that because of Animal Crossing and I wanted to play both the PS2 version and the remake back to back so that I could compare and contrast them directly while the original version is still fresh in my mind. And um, I did not end up doing that, just because that's going to take up a lot of time to do. But I will still be playing this game regardless. Uh, I'm glad to finally be playing it. I was really looking forward to this when it was coming out. Um, and the PS2 version, um, it's not something like I just played recently or anything. I used I played that back in my childhood and um, when they announced that they were remaking this game I played it again for the first time in like I don't know five to eight years and I'm not sure if I ever played it again after that I don't think so no I didn't so yeah, this is my first time playing in about two years, almost. So that's why I say, uh, mostly blind in the, um, title of the video, because I have played the game before, but I haven't played the remake before. So this is all gonna be me playing it for the first time. Although I did see the um, intro of the game on a YouTube video, so that part I've seen before, but I haven't played it. So um, I will probably be doing these streams every day during the weekend. Um, I was going to do that anyway, but, uh, especially now to make up for all the lost time. Smart camera. Is that, like, the camera automatically, uh, vibration turn that off? Okay, just kept that, uh, let me just make sure. I'm turning subtitles on. Okay, what else? Yeah, I think we're all good. Okay, anyway, yeah. To, uh, playing this all like three days of a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, to make up for all the lost time. Because I meant to play this uh, back at the beginning of the month, but now here we are on the last day of the month and I'm only just starting. Although I'm not sure about Sunday, um, I might be playing a game with my sister on Sunday, but we'll see what happens. Welcome to Bikini Bottom. A normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed. By the way, they did not do a uh, redub of this game. Friend, we'll play the which um I mean I can kinda see why for budgetary reasons, but you know, um I just wanna say right here Plankton kinda looks weird. 
Like, it kind of looks like the Sonic Adventure DX problem, where the character model doesn't really fit the environment, I think. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Anyway, Item number one uh, yeah, they they did kind of have a budget making this, I guess, yes. and okay, they also Throw didn't the get switch. like a full development time on this game. They had to crank this out in 10 months, which means when they announced the game, they had only just started working on it, and the E3 demo was only a month of progress. And from what, I, from what I heard, this no, game isn't really, no, like, too buggy not. or anything, but, like, it still would have benefited from more time in the oven. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses! Yeah, only Did you just see how that te texture loaded in? Up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, Hello, how Blue Blaze. Of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell, it's my magic wishing shell. Great. This That's isn't the magic conch. You're not stuck in the in forest. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing chip. Yeah, this game is pretty fun. Okay. I grew up with then the original PS2 version. The it's great. We'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! And the writing for the so, cutscenes okay, is great is too. Wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this'll work? Sure. Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good best night, day ever. They kind of predicted the future in this game. Next morning. <laughs> There was a Spongebob episode called Best Day Ever. I think 2007 is when that episode came out, and this game, the original version at least, came out in 2003. Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. By the way, I like how they added more uh, character animations. What a fantastic idea! These in the original version, it was just the same out. animation over and um, over again. How do I read the signs? Ow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Mm. Ow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, oh, that just old walk voice up clip to you and is, press uh, this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. That old voice clip is iconic. <laughs> the press this button because they didn't want to spend time doing it for all the different versions of the game. On GameCube, that would be the A button, but on PlayStation, it would just be the X button. And on Xbox, that would be the A button too. Uh, yeah, this is a hard PS4 copy of the game. Uh, physical version, not uh, digital, but there's no difference anyway, so, you know, that's all good, but... Uh, yeah, it's just the original remastered, remade, as I should say, because the difference between a remaster and a remake is um 
Even developers themselves get confused with this sometimes. Uh, basically, a remake is just like taking the original coding and upscaling it. I mean, remaster. Remaster is just taking the original and upscaling it. But a remake is like this, where you just build everything from the ground up. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. There are some added things from the original PS2 version that, uh, but they're kind of optional access because uh, what they say about that is uh, you don't draw a mustache on the Mona Lisa, which that's a great way of describing it. That phrase should be iconic. where I keep all my old comic books. This is where I keep all my old comic books. I love opening presents. Okay, so that's a little bit different. Um, I remember in the original version, he would still carry a little bit of momentum when he does this move, but... Uh, in this game, he Sometimes just pushing a goes single button straight is down. The most satisfying. Push, that push, might take push, a little push. bit of getting used to. But hey, it makes sense. This game was also very popular for speedruns, and uh, they also did not recreate glitches on purpose which um, was a pretty good pretty wise move to make you know don't break your game on purpose just because of the original version didn't like it plus it makes speed runs of the remake more entertaining because now you have to find new workarounds for things Okay, I got the... Is that all I needed to do here? Do I gain extra... No, I don't. Okay. I don't think it was like that in the original either. Gary food bowl. Wait, hold on. Huh. I thought in the original version this thing would blow when you hit it. Here we go, the golden spatula. It's basically the um, what do you call it? Superstars of this game or super I moons. Make myself a snack. For if you're going off of Mario Odyssey. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Uh-oh. It's cool Did that I they say put this in. I meant so because they didn't have to bring this to part back. Trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. So now I can go outside. Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get- I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? 
Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. Oh, no, not the spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Yeah, of yeah, course um... I'll help. Wait, Two restaurant competitors, if you want to even call them that, living Golden right next to each other eh? on the street. SpongeBob, and this little amoeba trying to steal a formula to become spatulas. successful. In yeah, dreams. only in SpongeBob. You've got a deal. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? Show those robots who's boss. Me. I always like hearing that. Hey, the characters still react when you hit them. I was actually watching the uh, Doodle Bob episode of SpongeBob the other day, and that just really reminds me that, like, a lot of the original SpongeBob, SpongeBob episodes are just creative genius that only Stephen like Hellenberg would have been able to no come money up with. Means no more crusty crab. No more crusty crab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. I do like that in this game, how you don't always have to get golden spatulas just from the levels, and you could also trade things with hey, the characters. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand! Bubble buddy! You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble-blowing moves if you're going uh, to yeah, journey to the ninth about dimension bubble, buddy. and defeat the giant monkey man! But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves? Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! I love opening presents. Alright, there we go. Don't forget, to defeat robots or tikis that are directly above you, press this button. Now I'll talk to Patrick. Hey Patrick, nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What our best friends But I played this two years ago okay, when then. they announced that they were remaking this game. I ended up I'll with way you, more uh, golden, golden spatulas than I needed. You mean I was spatula? basically doing like a completionist run. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Oh yeah, this is different. This used to have a timer in the original. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear! This is great! I feel like a new sponge! Oh, there we go. There's the timer. It's time! By the way, these things explode, the red ones, so not a good idea. Okay, so it's it's L2 in this one. 
I thought it was L1 or R1 in the original. Living under a rock. Now that's the life. Oh, I can't wait to get to the part where we jump around Squidward's house. <laughs> Seeing that remastered is gonna be kind of funny. Stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Yes, it can. Patrick and I were just playing a game, and oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> okay, I'll move to, to a different town, town and get a new I, identity. I, I up. <laughs> but seriously, Bob Pan Sponge Square. Like that should at least make me smile. <laughs> I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Uh, so they kind of reduced the amount of jumping that you had to do, but that's okay. I I kind of thought it was a little bit excessive in the original anyway. Ah! Oh, you could also ruin his painting. Oh, handsome Squidward. This is a great example of uh, them Combining the old with the new. I love that. Can I break that? Yes, I can. Hey, if we're underwater, how could there be a fire? Okay, nice catching up. I do like this whole uh, trend of games being remade, how we had the Crash remakes, Spyro, this. And other games will be getting remade in the future as well, like um, there might be a remake of uh, the Rockstar game Bully. That'll be pretty cool, but it could, it's kind of a shame that, um, there's that animation. Did you find my lost sock? Not yet. Oh. Okay. Your treasure chest's looking a bit... Alright, I forget where the rest of these are. Anyway, uh, it's a shame that the Sonic Adventure remakes were cancelled back in 2015. It would have been cool to see those. Oh, I think I just have to go here. Yeah. And now there's rumors that Sonic Colors is getting remade, so... Uh, the, the Sonic Adventure remakes would be all we would have needed to complete my childhood collection of 
Dave's getting remade. The rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Oh yeah, and speaking of which, it's um, kind of unlikely that, unlikely that we'll ever get Spyro 4 or um, Legend of Spyro remakes, at least right now, because today they just announced that Toys for Bob is joining Activision and helping make Call of Duty. Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, and it's already kind of hard enough big. as it is and to balance clammy. two projects and at oh once. My gosh, you're bald! And especially now with everything going on. And I like that. They put the meme in here. This is that shot from the SpongeBob movie. I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying Someone a Someone actually made a pretty funny meme about that. Jelly where, to the um, affected areas. They say, oh, Toys for Bob, I hear you have <laughs> experience with jellyfish. guns. Toys for Bob's guns. And then they show well, I guess a off the picture of Trigger Happy from Skylanders. Under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Oh, hey, I can do this mid-air. I'm not sure if it was like that in the original. These jellyfish don't really pose a threat, but they can sting you if you get too close. Ah, uh, yeah, teleport boxes. Basically, checkpoints that allow you to go across the area. We can't area. today. I'm going fishing for robots. Cha ching So you can always go back if you feel like you missed something. Oh man, the visual effects for when Spongebob hits something. Really good. Very satisfying. Although I kind of miss the ragdoll physics of the original, where when you hit a robot, they just go flying. Fresh like a spring breeze. There's still stuff over here. Wait. Oh yeah, I can jump on these to get something. There we go. And now I can destroy them. Let's see, can I get to that one? Yes, I can. 125, that's no problem. Hey, that's the first time I almost got hit playing this. I wonder when the first time I'll actually take hit, take a hit. Uh, it's fine. Take care. Okay, that was still a track to me when I put somebody in the water. <clears throat> I 
thank you. You take care as well. Sorry, jellyfish. Had to be done. I definitely like the extremely colorful art style of this game. At first I thought it was a little bit off-putting, but, you know. Now that I've gotten used to it, I think it's pretty cool. Hey Gary, what's shaking? Especially because the wow. PS2 version kind of wow. looked pretty bland. Wow, a bungee it would have looked a, a little bit better. Spatula. If it had a cell shaded art style. Heaven. Golden spatula. Boy. And we're good. Let's see one more just for the fun of it. And Okay, when you press circle, mid bungee, he still goes all the way up. I like that. King Jellyfish. Arrow. Sometimes pushing a single button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. push, push. push. I love that. Oh, that must have really put pressure on your motherboard there. Oh, here we go. Ham. Er. Ah, uh, there we go. My first hit. One of more to come because if I play this play the rest of this without taking a single hit wow Hammer, I get it there we go I feel like a new sponge oh sparkly this is also a little bit different from the original whenever I would do this in the air it would kind of well, actually, it does seem to give me a little bit of forwards momentum, but it doesn't feel like as much as the original. I'm looking forward to unlocking the bubble bowl. Oh, speak of the devil. Right here, that's what this is. That's what that upgrade is for. Wait. Oh, I can't go down there. Okay. Alright, fair enough. I'm that ready. may I'm have been ready. the original, I'm but I don't remember. Oh yeah, enemies respawn. Uh, respawn in this game. It always annoys me when that happens. Like the Toy Story 2 game was like, like that too. You've just met the Sponginator. Ah, there it is, the Sponginator line. So technically there's a way to get infinite shinies in the game. And still in this version. Since, uh, you could just die and come back to life. And then, there you go. Got more shinies. Feel 
Sorry, jellyfish. Had to be done. I didn't need that, but I did it just for the fun of it. I love opening presents. Ah, uh, yes. Ah. I got the drop on me. Yep. I went for it. And made it. Oh yeah, I can jump on all these. And this should take me somewhere. And this is scripted. Oh! I like how they have a new animation for the scripted parts. I don't think it was like that in the original. I think it was just the same falling animation. Uh, they changed this from green to, like, sand colored. I swear that was green in the original because, uh, I remember that would always be, like, a contrast I would use to use as an example for when I say that the game kind of looked a bit bland. Because it's like a very generic, dark shade of green as it gets. Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! Hey, huh? W what Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid! Now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Oh, no. Massaging your Don't feet you hate isn't it when that working. Happens? I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Yes, direct approach for the win. It shines! By the way, I am not a big fan of the Mermaid Man voice actor, but I guess it's better than the um, bootleg Mr. Krabs voice actor that they got. Like, even the audio sounds bad. Like, it's like you can hear the recording studio he was in. Yeah, it is a shame both uh, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are dead. The voice actors, at least. I don't remember that tutorial being in the original. Like a spring breeze. Okay, so against the hammer guys, I probably shouldn't jump. By the way, I love the music here. Take that! Hammer! I get it! There. Uh, actually, they do. They did kind of keep a, a little bit of the ragdoll physics on the hammer guys, so that's pretty cool. Sometimes pushing a simple 
button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Let's see, five spatulas. I already have over 1,000 shinies and... Oh yeah, the jello. The jellyfish jelly. I was just looking at that at the bottom, thinking like, wait, what? what's that? Did they add a new collectible? But then I realized, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob! Whew! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. This game also has a great Wouldn't soundtrack. It's very well, the robots and like the, the original. Oh show. yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, so but it's it very looks respectful. Important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I like how they make his eyes go sideways in this version. That's cool. Ah, it doesn't immediately collapse. I also like the new target reticle. Kind of reminds me of the uh, so Sonic games. Bright. So shiny. Oops, sorry, jellyfish. <laughs> There, I didn't even need the reticle for that. Okay, so I could throw that up there. Wants me to put it here, so... Uh-oh. No! Okay. I don't remember if the, um, it hurts him in the original when it explodes near him or not. I always love doing this. All the characters are uh, great to play as in this game, so it's really cool to see them all remade and stuff. It still feels pretty much just like the original, just with uh. The updated graphics, so yeah, this this is amazing. The rock is talking to me. Oh mighty rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So I like how he asked him, Oh, are tempting. you gonna vaporize me today? Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my ah, that's words, unfortunate. my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. My Follow large the instructions future minion. on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my Gee, sweatshop. Gee, he kind of wants to get vaporized. To knock off oh, thank you. <laughs> knock off wallets. Oh, they made this different. In the original, if you did a singular jump, he would still do this. He would still do the belly flop, but now... If you just do a singular jump, he lands on his butt. I actually kind of like that. It, it makes the um, the animation go quicker. And you can still move while you're doing it. I like that. Ooh, scary dark cave. Okay, so only SpongeBob has a sneak ability. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I guess Patrick is pretty big. Ooh, wooden presents. 
I guess you could say he's thick. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. That particle effect. Love it. That looks like straight out of a comic book game. Oh, I guess I could still use this one, I guess. Oh, don't. Okay, I guess the reticle will take some getting used to. Fire, this is a good time to say, hey, don't forget about the Skylander and Spire Lock. Whoa. Ow. Bad timing. Oh, by the way, the official uh, Among Us team replied to, uh, Comment That's I made on my post That was cool. Just as I predicted, Among Us will be coming out on uh, PS4 and PS5. I figured it would only be a matter of time. So shiny! For this, so uh, there was also a SpongeBob movie game from the PS2 era, and it basically played like this. It just didn't have uh, Sandy in it for obvious reasons, since she wasn't really in hey, the movie. This is mine! It would be kind of cool to see them remaster, uh, remake, I mean, remake that game too. So that was also a good game. I think I might actually like it more than Battle for Bikini Bottom, but I haven't played that one in a very long time. So, I'll have to play it again to, um get my judgment on that. I don't know, I, I remember liking that uh, Patrick could do a flame and heart wheel, which that in of itself, I think it's gonna be something that will make me like it more than uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Although I, ha actually now that I think about it, I hated the Goofy Goober tokens and I never actually got to finish the game because of that. Basically think of it like you know, the golden spatulas in this game, or, you know, the sudden moon medals in Sonic Unleashed, where you have to have a certain amount in order to progress to the next level. It's basically like that. In this game, I thought the amount was reasonable, especially since, as I said earlier, they do actually let you trade stuff with the characters. So you can still get golden spatulas. Come to the trading Again! things, Again! and you don't. It's not like every single spatula has to be found in a level, but in the movie game, all the uh, Goofy Goober tokens had to be found in levels. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Oof. Hey, my back feels better. Play as a whistle. So yeah, I never actually got to finish the game because of the Goofy Cooper tokens. I I think I got pretty close. I got to Shell City, and then 
I had to do more challenges to get more Goofy Goober tokens, but I never ended up getting that far because the challenges were hard for um, the young little people. Oh, I guess I throw, the, throw ice in there and then do the thing. Bam. Bam. NPC abuse. Hey, Wolf Hat. Nice to see you. There you go, got it. So yeah, that should give me even more of a reason to go back and play that game. To finally be able to finish it after all these years. I think that's how it works. Who knows, maybe that's even something I could do for a stream. Sound like a uh, good idea? Alright, what happens if it explodes? Okay, nothing happens. Ouch. That's much better. Yeah, I can't really hit this because it'll just aim at the robots. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish! Yes? Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. There, I have the superior belly. <clears throat> Take that, Mr. Krabs. Oh yeah, these guys. I thought they were chewing them. Okay, I like how the uh, mayonnaise, I mean tartar sauce is actually on the cardboard. As opposed to the original where it just- Oh yeah, these guys are two hit kills. Uh, as opposed to the original where it just puts a hole through it. Everyone. Don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Nothing here. Sorry, jellyfishes, you were in my way. Hi, right, Mrs. Oh, Puff. Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back. You're welcome to it! Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff! I like the way he says that. Okay, let's go. There's health here, so if I get hurt, okay. <laughs> <The> robot go boo! Haha, <laughs> 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 robot go boo! 
This That's game predicted much the haha -ha, X go burr beam. And also that's, at least in his current state, the Avengers game in a nutshell. Haha, <laughs> robot go boom. So, can I... Yes, keep him coming. Okay, I can't keep him off. I forgot how to do that. I need to find another way around, I guess. You don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right? I will crush them! Uh -oh. Can I walk on this sand? Oh, I can. Oh, wait. No, but only so far. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna try jumping over there. Let's see how that goes. If not, hey, at least I got more shinies and robots like boom. I can definitely make this jump. Uh, yeah, it seems too risky. I don't think I can make that jump. How many of these do I have to carry? Clean as a whistle. Yeah, I can't pick that up. Oh well, I guess I'll just leave it. Oh wait! Yeah, I think I could do that to them and then pick them up. That's much better. So yeah, let me go back there. Okay, so I have to do the new move that wasn't in the original version. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. All right, come back here. Ouch. Yes, there we go. Got it. Okay, so that's new. Oh yeah, it'll just spawn two now. So I can take out the first one. And then wait for the next guy. boxes on that it doesn't have the same AOE Up we go! 
Okay, now what do you got? That's much better. Uh, not so far enough. Wait as a whistle. I think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. He doesn't throw that far enough. Or maybe I'm too close, which is a bit counterintuitive. Nope, still not there. Wait, is there- do I have to destroy that one too? Yes, okay. Alright, so that deals with it. And... Statue again! Okay, so I'll have to remember that and get used to that. Ah, and it still doesn't let me walk there. Oh well. I could just jump up here. Mega combo! <laughs> that worked out just the way I wanted it to. How many of these do I have to carry? Ah, tartar sauce! That's much better. Oh. Ah, got me in the air. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. There, it explodes. This there. one goes boom. Okay, the rest of the level, I'm just gonna try to get through as fast as possible. You could actually take a very long time on these levels if you're trying to get everything. Like an hour or more for just one level. Lord as a rock. Super monster combo. Patrick is an Olympian. Oh, nice. Moving platforms down there, but I don't think they do anything. Oh, wait. Okay, unless that's a way for me to get back up from here. Okay, so you can't just sit on that. Also, it has to load when that happens sometimes, which it wasn't- Oh, okay. That may have actually saved me time. You can't catch me. Ouch. That's much better. Here we go, 150 shinies. No problem. I'm going to be pretty loaded on shinies by the end of this game. Ah, okay. So I could fall off of that. Unlike the other thing. I 
I guess it makes sense since it's like a simple structure. Oh, I didn't make that this time. So I wonder if you could actually get up there for, by jumping onto those tiki's. Oh, now I'm back here. Alright, well I guess we're taking the long way. <laughs> A robot go boom! I guess it's worth experimenting on it one day though. Trophy Star Smasher. All right, what what is that for? Defeat 100 robots as Patrick. Wow, already. Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Ouch. He didn't aim at the robot. Play as a whistle. I think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite nice. Oh. Alright, let's go. Thank goodness platformers have double jumps. Play as a whistle. Okay. So don't do that to them because uh they don't have enough time to hit you while you're still recovering. Satisfying. I passed health, but okay. Oh, hey. That's much better. There we go. Oh, oh, present everyone. I'll just avoid it. Bye bye. Have a nice time. Hey, how did I get hit? I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Yeah, like I said earlier, it, it is kind of bad, oh, and I'm pretty sure you could even he, like down. basically <gasps> hear the recording studio that he's in. Like, it feels like a very last-minute voice acting job. And that's partially why it would have been cool if they did a redub of the audio, because then maybe they could have actually gotten oh, Clancy this Brown. One goes boom. But then again, this remake did have some weird uh, development restrictions, so I don't know. Well, actually, now that you think about it, they did a redub of the German version, but not the American version. Okay, I gotta go back to SpongeBob. SpongeBob's all well rested now. I actually feel like the animation on that was smoother on the PS2 version. Okay, so you can't spam bubble attack on him. Hit and run. This guy's got headphones. It probably wasn't like that in the original. 
Here we go, King Jellyfish. First boss fight. <laughs> Spork Mountain. I like that name. Spork Mountain. Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today! Step quietly there. That King Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, I love this cutscene. Oh, wow, nice lighting. You can practically see the sun reflecting off the sponge. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but like who it. knew he had such a beautiful voice? I don't know if this game is supported on uh, PS5 backwards compatibility, but I hope it is. Okay, you got one little, little Fresh, lucky shot. Like a spring breeze. You can kind of see him charge up the attack. I'm not sure if it was like that in the original. Okay, he's actually not doing bad. Hit him. I feel like a new sponge. Last second. It's probably that this is different from the original and it's throwing me off. You've just met the sponginator. Fresh like a spring uh, breeze. Blue jellyfish. I feel like a new sponge. Charging up. I ran a bit too far away for comfort. Yes, that's right. Jellyfish jam. I like how he's just like, okay, I'm out of here. I give up. <laughs> and there's still a little bit more level after this. Jelly Jet. Let's see here. Hey, there's a vent here. You know what, Spongebob Fresh, could probably like vent, breeze. even as a crewmate, because he's Nicely Spongebob. Done, little yellow friend. Okay, so I don't remember if I'd go back up here and do something else, or... Wait a second. Was there something back here? Yeah, there was. Oh, sliding section. Oh, sparkly. I always loved these. I love opening presents. Okay. Oh, and here's Larry. See, no problem. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. 
I like how he just brushes it off if you hit him. Teleport bots. Okay, now, time to leave. Mission yeah. complete, Squidward. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend, Squidward. Can I rub some on? Uh, what if I just gave you this? <laughs> jellyfishing, jellyfishing, jellyfishing. Spatula sinker. Collect ten spatulas. See, look at me, Mr. Completion. Ten spatulas already. And over a thousand shinies collected. And the thing is, you could always get more when you load into the next level. So yeah, 10. That's over half of what I currently- That's half of what I currently need. I was gonna say over half, but it's not over. It's exactly half. I can math. Let's see. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Here, let's go. Squidward is a oh, oh, oh. Downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a, a debris covered, covered crater. crater. I remember that. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate. Yeah, I thought the all intro right, was long. But it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Yeah, because why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Oh yeah. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, <laughs> there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, <laughs> Mrs. Puff. I'll get those they steering They really wheels did back. think of everything. SpongeBob, if you're it was involved, a foolproof I always plan. fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. <laughs> One of eleven. What's this thing? Oh, that's the uh, sponge roll thing. Up for a game of SpongeBob. SpongeBob, that's it. These robots look like UFOs. Oh man, they slapped him around like a pinball. <laughs> Unsatisfied Gary is kind of funny. There we go, that's what I remember when I said I thought the intro was longer. First try. I love opening presents. Hot sauce. I'm just gonna get these shinies. Hey, steering wheel. Good thing I didn't go right away.
I like that uh, SpongeBob episode where the hot sauce drop goes, I declare this drop of hot sauce to be very, very hot. Okay, I'm at full health. Thought there was a way to get up there. By the way, somebody actually modded this level into a uh, Sonic Lost World back in the day. That was pretty cool. Oh, is this? Uh, yeah, it is. But I destroyed my other means of transportation. No, I didn't. Okay, that's all that's up there. Okay, let's do this. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Bringing it around town. Bringing it around town reference. Love it. Blow all of them. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Including SpongeBob. Which way are we going? Ah, I see. Okay, so it doesn't hurt them if I collide into them. Oh yeah, I forgot about the, the dog enemies. Did they get an introduction like cutscene? I don't think so. But I guess it's not like every enemy needs one. Locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Hmm. Another fine for Patrick. There we go. I got seven. So just need a few more. this over yeah but it doesn't seem like that's easy. okay oh hey look ah oh, can't even make that jump okay okay let's go roll 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 the fun hi Gary Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean? Meow. Working out? You mean you need those oh, rubber the arms again? that's the to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. 
What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow, meow. Can you? Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Leave it to Texas. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Yeah, here we go, Sandy. She's actually my favorite in this game. Because, um, I, I like her whole presents. lasso mechanic. Basically like Spider-Man, but with a rope instead of webs. Too pretty! Can't take it! Yeah, I said before, when I played this game like two years ago, um, I ended up with a lot more golden spatulas than I needed. It was, I was doing like completionist run. There a steering wheel in here? Okay. Hey look, I can cut through here now. I may as well get rid of the rest of these guys. Oh, I can unlock this. Hmm. Nah, I don't really need to. Hopefully I find more steering wheels up there, because I don't have the lot right now. I see one over there. Here we go, Sandy. Yeah, my SpongeBob is slowly becoming Mr. Krabs. I do agree with people when they say that it would have been cool to play as whoever you want. Bam! Someone better make good use but, of all oh well. Take that! I mean, sure, that wouldn't work for specific parts, but I mean, what do you expect? Nothing like a bit of roping to get the heart pumping! Press circle to see. Oh, I have to hold it. I'm not sure if it was like that in the original or not. But hey, I guess I discovered this area now. Yeah, she still has her air kit. Love it. Oh, and it's got the same particle effect as Patrick. Oh wow, that can one-shot that enemy. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. Okay, there's nothing to change the character here. But I suppose I could go back there later. Explosion. 
blow. Oh, now that opens up a shortcut. Nice. Times like this when you wish the characters had a sprint button. Okay. Okay, remember to hold circle this time. I love the jumping sound of it, by the way. Okay. Let's get across here. Spider squirrel. Hey, spatula. Wow, the detail on her helmet is great. Bad cannon. Can I get back? Okay, yes I can. Wow, nice. Travel the rooftops. Nothing sus here, just a squirrel on rooftops. Hey, Larry, what's shaking? Sandy, boy, how do you get up here? You. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a three-dollar bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you I and like SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I could do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, Mine. I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. You can't break it. Hey, I could go around here. Three dollar bill. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize that's not right. Three dollar bills don't exist. Right? Or am I just... being weird? Ah, okay, this... Oh, wow, that's satisfying. Cha-ching! Patrick will be glad to have this back. Nice. Hey, I'm all the way up here. Teleport box. Okay, so I guess I kind of am supposed to go up there. Because I was going to say, oh, I'm, I don't even know if I'm even supposed to go up there. Unless they added that in. I forgot about these guys.
Yeah, I probably got hit by the blast radius. Hey up! One less vermin. Got him. Not as good as Texas barbecue sauce. Feeling refreshed. I don't know. Cowabunga! Gotcha! She says cowabunga in this. Okay, nice. I like the uh, little effect on the karate shop. Looks like out of a fighting game. Oh, I forgot to hold circle. out the other robot. Hey, Kelpo! That's cool. What's this? Rebuild the bridge? Oh no. I was kind of spamming the button hoping it to uh, do something and then that happened. Okay. Let's do this. Gotta do what you can to save time. Spatula up here. Okay. Ah, oh, it doesn't have the animation of them jumping out of the box. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Bikini Bottom Motor Company. Oh, hey, and that's the perfect place for a steering wheel. Okay, I can't get up there from here. Understandable. Hey, your bell. Explode. Maybe I went backwards or something.
Coral Cola. Huh. That's new, I don't remember that being in the Spongebob episode. Few more of those. I do not need to get that shiny. That's not literally what I meant to do, but okay. So no matter who you play as, you need to use Circle to defeat those robots. Oh man. Sandy can slide down slopes just like SpongeBob. Nice. Yes, you do, and you, and you are gonna like it! I almost held X there, and I was trying to get across that gap. Imagine if it was X. You both. It would be like Yuji Naka logic. I love opening presents. You, Patrick needs to do laundry. Too pretty. Can't take it. Lighthouse. Are you ready, kids? Set. Go. Oh yeah, I like this one. Geronimo! Fresh like a spring breeze. You just Fresh met like the sponginator. Ah, close range shot. Oh, he gets health back if I don't hit him. I feel like a new spot. Ah. Ow. Ow again. Big sticks. Ah. By the way, apparently there was a bad like game spa review for this game where they said the game was hard or something, just like with the crash. Fantasy thing trilogy. I didn't check it out since, like, obviously I didn't want spoilers or anything. Like, I, I wanted to make sure when I play the game I'm ex experiencing everything for the first time. Just my size. Since you know, like I said before, I have played the PS2 version. Fresh like a spring breeze. Ah, I pressed the button. Oh wow. I feel like, like a new area. start.
Oh, I'm kind of lucky I didn't get hit there. Ow. And as I say that, I get hit by something else. Oh, there's another one. Fresh like a spring breeze. Ow. Jumped right into that. There we go, steering wheel. And a golden spatula. I think I got enough golden spatulas from this level, I really don't need it. I need to get Feel like a new spot at this point. What oh, okay, there's another one. discovered okay now how do I get back to the ground level Here we go. What's happening, SpongeBob? Hey, Larry. Yeah, right. I switched back to Sandy back here. Alright, I shall claim my reward. Oh, thank you! I can finally watch those reruns of the Rockfish Files! The Rockfish Files? I don't know how I've lived this long without good reception. Thank you again! I don't know how I- Okay, that's it. Back to the streets I go. So I miss... Unless the other steering wheels are at that other location. Over there. The sea needle. No, I'm gonna go over there. It'll be cool to see that. Ah, uh, so there's a cooldown on the... On this. So maybe this is why I couldn't even go up there before. Because I needed Sandy. Yep. I don't think I'm going to the sea needle. I, 
I don't know where I can change my character. Maybe if I head back to the start. Oh hey, I can get up here. Or not. Back at the start. Well, if it isn't howdy, Mrs. Okay, I still can't find it. Where to change character. So yeah, I'm just gonna call it a day for that. I think I got enough. Yeah, 14. 14's pretty good, but actually now that I think about it, I need 15. Oh well, I could trade something and get another spatula no problem I love opening presents how much does he want? so do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? that's yes. quality craftsmanship that is Come again! Okay, now I shall talk to you, Patrick. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. I don't speak Italian. I like that line. I forgot he says that. I thought he said, oh, kazoo type. Okay, so where will we be going tomorrow? It shines! Fifteen. The Poseidon? Okay. So that's where we'll be going tomorrow. Hello, Bob Esponja. Which is SpongeBob in Spanish. Sorry, but uh, how is this uh, ending in here? Game saved, okay. So we'll have more of the map tomorrow and proceed to something else. I don't remember exactly what's next. Poseidon makes me think it's a boss fight, but it seems kind of quick for that. But yeah, thanks to everybody who tuned in. I will continue tomorrow. Looking forward to playing more of this. Been really enjoying it so far. It's really cool to see this game from my childhood in HD. And it feels just like the original. But until then, see you next time.